It's obvious the drastic interest rate hike that we experienced in the beginning of the year has shifted the Bay Area real estate market. Now homes that used to sell for less than 14 days with multiple offers are now taking a lot longer with only one or two offers in most cases. Now this overnight change in the market condition has brought out a lot of hunters looking for a deal and hoping to get a deep discount on our valuable Bay Area properties. In this video, I'll be sharing my experience with a recent buyer that I was working with and what the mindset that they had in this changing market. Hey guys, Gwen here with Interior Real Estate at Burlingame. You know, I get it. The market's been super strong and heavily sided with sellers for many, many years. Now I'm talking about a market condition where sellers held all the cards and buyers were at their mercy. Now this recent shift in the market was really fast, but it might not reflect the home prices dropping just yet. So back in June, I was working with some buyers. They were very well qualified, strong down payment. I'm talking about 50 to 75% down payment. And just like anybody else, they were watching all the stuff that was happening in the news, all the media that was coming out, the negative news that just came out in regards to real estate. And obviously it was quite obvious to everyone that the market was starting to shift. So while I was working with them, I found them a property and showed it to them, which was super unique. It was wonderful property that was a wide lot, um, two driveways, rancher, and it was a beautiful property where it was a park-like setting. They loved the property and we were in the process of just getting gathering the disclosures, documents to try to come up with a price on the property. And so the property was listed at around $1.7 million and it was on the market for just a little over 21 days. And so with all of the things that was happening in their mind, with their reading or watching of the news, they felt that 21 days was too long for that, for the, for that current market. And so they thought that they had an opportunity to actually get a deep discount on the property. So property was listed at 1.7 and they won, they absolutely loved it and they liked it. Offer and the listing agent expressed that they haven't gotten an offer just yet. And so my sellers came up with a price that was um, significantly discounted. In fact, it was about $150,000 less than what the asking price. So they wanted to offer a price of $1,550,000 on a property that was listed at one7 And granted, um, the home didn't sell in its normal manner, like how it previously was uh, going at uh, the rate that it was, that's seven, 14 days. It was 21 days already and they still haven't gotten an offer. I uh, communicated with my clients and expressed to them just, hey, the market's just not there yet. Um, perhaps it is, but it's just not there. Uh, the market's just starting to shift. And in order for a seller to accept a discount like that, I think there needs to be a lot more time to pass. Uh, I educated them and talked to them about the market, about the different homes that was sitting on the market that weren't selling and just how the general trend was. They were adamant about writing the offer at that price. However, I just didn't feel like it was um, something that the sellers would even entertain. So I communicated with the listing agent and just asked them whether if it was even something that was worth writing up. Um, so fortunately, the listing agent said that it, the sellers were not even gonna go anywhere close to that price at that point. Both uh, agent and I, was in good communication, just talking about how the market was and where it's headed. It's true, we're both in agreement. However, it just takes a little time for the sellers to actually understand that in the market because the sellers are still um, comparing their home to what the previous home sold for within the last couple months or even the last uh, six months for that matter. So at that point, the sellers were just not ready to um, come to grips with that significant price drop. True, the home didn't sell within 14 days, 
but homes were still selling, but just not at that rapid rate. So we ended up not writing an offer because the sellers just was not ready to entertain an offer with that price. And so wanted to share with you guys this is because in any type of market, it requires both the buyer and the seller to meet to a common ground. In a changing market, usually there's one side that's quick to jump and then the other side lags. So take a look at this historical graph for the past couple months for the days on market for homes in San Mateo County. So currently right now we're in what we call a shifting market. It's just shifting, therefore it's going to take some time for the sellers and the buyers to meet and find a common ground. Now the sellers are still hoping to get the prices from say the beginning of the year and maybe last year. And then obviously the buyers are trying to get a great deal. Um, and it makes total sense because sellers want to get the highest price and buyers want to get the best deal that they can. It's only natural. So the buyers was right, but they just had to dial it down a little bit. They were on the right track in terms of how the market was shifting and that the prices was starting to slightly go down, but they just uh, offered a price that was just too low, it was a little too much uh, that the seller was able to handle. So the home eventually did sell about four weeks later and it sold for around $1.6 million, so roughly about $100,000 less. So my buyers to this day still have not found the property. And to be honest, they, they're starting to kick themselves because they feel like they lost out on that opportunity because that type of property doesn't come around every day because it was such a unique property. Now some of the lessons learned is that it's good to really understand the local market because markets vary and they change from market to market, even within a particular county here, especially here in San Mateo County. Now, you also have to take into account that in a changing market, it requires time for the sellers and the buyers to meet on a common ground. And in a changing market, a desirable property usually still sells despite the fact of what's happening all around because buyers still want them and they recognize the uniqueness and des desirability of that property. Now, even with the days on market starting to go up, we're still in what we call a seller's market here in the Bay Area. And to be honest, we're probably gonna be moving towards a more balanced market where uh, buyers and sellers have somewhat of an equal uh, negotiating power as the market continues to move and progress. Now here in the Bay Area, just keep in mind that there's still a huge shortage in housing and that's probably why our home values are still holding up pretty well despite all the things that's happening around the world, here in the country, and in our economy. If you're thinking about making a move, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email and we can sit down and come up with a game plan that's right for you. Until then, I appreciate you watching and hey, check out this next video if you are thinking about buying.